uh, hi everyone so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the construction of dc machine so what is a machine uh, we can have a stationary machine like transformer as well as rotating machines like uh, dc machines like dc motor dc generator or induction machine like induction motor even induction generator as well as synchronous motor and synchronous generator so coming to this uh, concept here we are going to discuss about the construction of dc machine so whenever you heard the word machine it can be either generator or motor so what is a motor a motor is the one which generally converts given electrical input to the mechanical output and generator is the one which does the opposite work that is it takes the input as mechanical power and converts that into electrical output power so the machine which converts electrical input to the mechanical output is motor and the machine which converts mechanical input to the electrical output is the generator so here uh, if you see the construction of dc machine it will have several components so the main components are like yoke armature field system commutator brushes and bearings so this is the structure of the machine that is dc machine here if you see there is yoke yoke is the outer frame of the machine and then you are going to see the pole or uh, pole is the one which is going to contain pole core as well as pole shoes so the pole shoes are useful for the support of the field windings and uh, you are going to place field winding on the poles and uh, you will be giving field power supply which is dc since it is a dc machine and uh, along with the field windings we will have armature windings which are placed in the armature slots so the armature is the one which is the rotating device in case of dc machine and which is uh, placed inside of the core and uh, you can see the conductors in the slots which are nothing but armature conductors or armature winding and you can see these uh, carbon brushes here so which are used for converting alternating current into the direct current right we will see the individual component purpose here so if we discuss the yoke first it is the outer frame of the dc machine and it is generally made up of the materials like uh, which are of high permeability and which can provide mechanical strength and they are of cast steel in general and the purpose of the yoke is to provide uh, protection and also it can keep the magnetic field system in it and it can provide a low reluctance path to the working magnetic flux like how a magnetic core of the transformer provides the path for the magnetic flux produced by the primary winding here also this uh, provides the reluctance low reluctance path for the magnetic flux so that the entire flux will be confined in the core and it also supports the rotor or armature through bearings and then we have armature as i said uh, it is a system of conductors or coils that can rotate freely on the supporting bearings and uh, the working torque as well as emf are developed in the armature coils of within the armature which consists of armature core as well as armature winding and the core is a solid cylindrical structure which is made up of high permeability thin silicon steel lamination and you all know why we do laminations for the core in general because it is to reduce the eddy current loss right and on the outer periphery of the core slots will be there which can carry armature winding and uh, this armature winding is anyways made up of copper and uh, this winding is former wound that means initially firstly we will wind or we will prepare the winding then we will directly put that wound part of the copper into the machine in the slots of the armature and depending upon the end connections of the armature conductors there are two different types of windings like lap winding is there and wave winding is there and uh, as far as uh, b double e is considered uh, no need of much details about these winding types but a uh, few points like uh, the number of parallel paths which depend on the winding can be discussed so the number of parallel paths in case of lap winding are equal to the number of poles whereas in case of wave winding they are equal to the 
that is just number two it is fixed and uh, next we will have field system actually the components of poles and field windings are together called as field system here and uh, this is going to provide the working magnetic flux in the machine you might be wondering why we need to keep poles when there are field windings because when field windings are carrying current it can provide magnetic flux right then why we are externally using poles here that is north and south poles because the utilization of these poles provide unidirectional flux path which is very stable and concentrated that is why we are going to use fixed poles that is north and south magnetic poles in the system and as i said field system is going to contain pole core pole shoes as well as field coils and again this pole core is made up of thin steel laminations and a pole shoe is the one which is a projected part of the pole core and has a large area of cross section as you have seen in the figure here if you see this part is the pole shoe so which is having larger cross section and it can support the field windings which are placed on the pole right and you can see here the laminated pole core and now coming to the commutator which is very important part in the dc machine so here the commutator is the one uh, which is used uh, with the help of brushes for converting bipolar uh, ac current to the dc current so it is a it is generally called as mechanical rectifier because you know what is a rectifier it converts ac to dc right so similar thing it is performing here so it is called mechanical rectifier and it is a cylindrical shaped device and is made up of copper so it it is having several slots and uh, carry commutator segments and these segments are copper bars which are inserted in the slots and these segments are also insulated from each other through mica which is an insulating material and this commutator is mounted on the shaft of the dc machine on one side of the armature and the armature conductors are connected to the commutator segments with the help of copper lugs and the major functions of commutator are given here like uh, in a dc generator it collects the current from the armature conductor and in case of a dc motor it supplies the current to the armature conductors which is of dc type and it converts the alternating current of the armature into unidirectional current in the external circuit with the help of brushes so we will see how it is going to convert using the brushes so these brushes are used to make an electrical connection with the rotating commutator that means whenever the conductor is rotating the commutator will also be rotating such that the current coming outside of the brushes will be in unidirectional so that means these brushes are going to collect current in case of motor operation and they are going to supply current in case of generator operation and these are generally made up of carbon and you can see here in this diagram there are south and north poles and we have armature conductor here and uh, we have commutator and with commutator we got brushes and the bearings are the one which are generally used to reduce the frictional losses and the main function of bearings in the dc machines is to support the machine shaft with minimum friction and we generally use ball bearings or roller bearings in case of dc machines that's it so this is all about the dc machine construction so you can see all these are major components of the system like yoke pole field windings and armature as well as armature windings and commutator and the brushes through which we can get the current or take the current for different operations of the dc machine that's it thank you